In this video, we're going to look at how to set up the Netgear Nighthawk AX8 Wi-Fi 6 router. If you have this model or are thinking about getting one, this guide will show you how easy it is to get up and running. If you have a slightly different model, the setup process will be very similar and you should still find this useful. Let's start by looking around the router itself. At the top, we can see the LED panel showing the status of the router and the connected devices. We have a Wi-Fi button allowing you to turn wireless connectivity on or off. The WPS button allows you to connect WPS enabled devices without having to type in a password. This is a common method of connecting wireless printers and smart home devices. At the back, we have a few more buttons and all of the ports to connect devices to. First on the left is the LED on off button. This allows you to turn off all the router's LEDs with the exception of the power one. The reset button, when held for 10 seconds, allows you to return this device to its factory settings. We then have two USB ports to connect other devices such as printers and external drives to be shared over the network. We then have five numbered Ethernet ports to make wide connections with other devices. Ports 4 and 5 are aggregated, allowing you to improve things like file transfer speed with compatible devices. The internet port is what you will use to connect your current modem. And finally, at the end, we have the power button. Underneath your router, you will find the login details for both the Wi-Fi network and the administration settings. Once everything is connected and turned on, go to your device, such as a smartphone, look for the Netgear network, type in your password and connect. In terms of basic setup, that's pretty much it. But there is one further step I'd recommend. Go to your device's app store and download the Nighthawk Wi-Fi app. Once downloaded, open it up and after reading the terms and conditions and choosing your location services preferences, you can create your Netgear account as well as turn on biometric login, such as Face ID, and connect the app to your router. Once the connection is made, you will need to update the password for the administration of the router. This isn't the Wi-Fi password, but a password to enable you to change the settings of your router. Once you've done this, you're nearly there. After a quick firmware update, you'll see the settings available on your app. Device Manager allows you to see which devices are currently connected to your router. These are grouped as wired or wireless connections. You can pause and resume these device connections as required. Internet Speed is a built-in connection speed checker. Wi-Fi Settings allows you to change the name of your network and decide if you want two separate 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz networks broadcast or if you want one joint one, with the router deciding which one is best for your device. Guest Wi-Fi can be enabled if you want to allow visitors to connect to your network without you giving them your password. Traffic Meter isn't yet available using the app, but may come later on. Support is also available through the app. In the top left corner, there is a menu button allowing you to change other settings and view the router information if you need it. So that's the end of this tutorial on the Netgear Nighthawk Wi-Fi 6 router. If you found this video useful, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with some more tutorials.